This video will show you all the basics about layers in Craft Artist, how to use them, and all the tips and tricks. Craft Artist has been developed with ease of use in mind, so if you don't want to use layers, there is no need to. By default, every new project you create contains two layers, labelled Layer 1 and Background on the Layers tab. If you're working on a simple project, this may well be sufficient for your needs. If you're working on a complex design, however, you may want to add multiple layers to your project. That way, you can choose which layer you are editing and make changes without fear of modifying items on another layer. Dragging and dropping a background onto your page will automatically put it onto the background layer, so you won't accidentally pick it up when you're designing. The Layers tab itself includes controls for creating, deleting, arranging and setting the properties of layers within your project. The plus button at the side of the layer will expand it to show you what items are on this layer. This can be really handy if your page is quite full and you want to pick up a piece of text or another item. You can select it by simply clicking it from the Layer tab. You can hover over a thumbnail for a larger preview of the item. Clicking on the big plus sign will add a new layer. When items are added to a layer, the layer name reports the current number of items on the layer. For example, Layer 2, two items. When you use more than one layer, Make sure you remember which layer you have put your items on. It can get quite confusing when you try to pick something up and wonder why you can't select it. To select and work on a layer, click its name. The layer is made active and is highlighted in blue. You can easily change a layer or item's name to help you keep track of everything. To do this, click its name once, click again and then type a new name. You can hide a layer at any time by clicking on the eye symbol. Click it again to show the layer. You can lock a layer to prevent items on that layer being edited by clicking the padlock symbol. Click it again to allow editing of that layer. Freezing an item or layer creates a similar effect. It stops you editing the item or layer. Right click a layer or items and choose freeze. Repeat to unfreeze. The other icons here are also useful. Use this one to delete a layer. If you delete a layer, all of the items on it are also deleted. So if you want to keep any of them, move them to another layer first. This button here will move a layer up above the next one, while this button moves the layer down. Note you can also move layers up and down in the Layers tab by clicking and dragging on the layer names. You can also drag items up and down as you wish. Double clicking an item will zoom into it on your page. You can merge two layers together by selecting one layer, holding down the control key and selecting the other layer, and then clicking the merge button. The contents of the merged layers appear on the active layer. This is the edit all layers button. If this is enabled, you will be able to select and edit items on all layers. The default setting is that this isn't turned on. That way you can't pick up your background paper or items on other layers by accident. The View All Layers button allows you to see items on all layers at the same time. Clicking it will hide all layers except the one you currently have selected. The default setting is that you can view all layers. Remember, you can use the eye symbol to turn off a layer's visibility at any time. You can stop a layer from being printable by right-clicking it and unticking the printable option. Re-click to include it in printouts again. Masks are fantastic tools for your scrapbook layouts in particular you can create some really stunning effects. To demonstrate this, I'm going to make this flower much larger. Now, if I click the mask symbol on the right hand side, anything that is underneath my flower will appear, but will be constrained within the flower's proportions. You can also add a new mask layer using this button. Now my flower and leaf appear on the layer below, so they are masked. Try this. Use the brush tool to paint over the items on the layer below to reveal them. If you want to learn more about masks, there is another video tutorial on our YouTube channel. A handy trick when using layers is to set a layer selection colour. You can do this by double clicking the layer's name and in the layer properties dialog, click the colour swatch to the right of the layer name and then choose a colour. Assigning different colours to layers lets you quickly verify that an item has been added to the correct layer. The box surrounding a selected item always adopts a selection colour assigned to the layer. The layer will also show its current selection colour as a thin colour strip under the layer property icons. We hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and learnt some new things. 